Okay, so now I need to check out this second question about sunlight and does the amount of sunlight affect which parts of the ecosystem are performing cellular respiration, okay? Because um, again, it mattered, the amount of sunlight mattered in photosynthesis. I'm just curious to see if it matters here in cellular respiration. Um, so I'm going to um, turn my sun here on low. You could also turn it off. Um, and I'm gonna view my cell of my producers, paying attention to my mitochondrion. I'm looking for carbon dioxide still being produced for this cellular respiration. Uh, chemical reaction is still happen. Looks like it's still happening there. Going to my consumers. Again, I'm checking to make sure I still have cellular respiration occurring. Still producing carbon dioxide. Oh, and there I am. And if I continue down the line here to all of the other uh, biotic components of my ecosystem, I'm going to see again that I'm still producing carbon dioxide from my mitochondrion, which means I still have cellular respiration occurring and therefore sunlight and the amount of it is not impacting um, which parts of the ecosystem still perform cellular respiration. And in my observation here of cellular respiration, I'm kind of thinking that it's very similar to this process of photosynthesis, except for that fact that photosynthesis needs energy from the sunlight um, to make it happen, and cellular respiration didn't. Um, and they're kind of opposite processes, because if I look at what the inputs are in photosynthesis. I'm bringing in energy, carbon dioxide, and water. Those are sort of the things that I'm getting out of cellular respiration. Cellular respiration, I'm releasing energy, releasing carbon dioxide, and releasing water. So the inputs of photosynthesis are the outputs of cellular respiration. And the inputs of cellular respiration, glucose, and oxygen are the outputs of photosynthesis, glucose and oxygen. So these two processes are um, both important in our um, ecosystem because one helps um, produce energy storage molecules and the other helps to use those energy storage molecules for organisms to get energy. Um, so they're opposite processes, and they both um, really demonstrate that cycling of carbon in this form of carbon dioxide from the abiotic to the biotic and then back to the abiotic components of our ecosystem. Photosynthesis takes abiotic carbon dioxide from the air and turns it into biotic carbon in an energy storage molecule. And cellular respiration takes a biotic carbon atom in the form of an energy storage molecule and turns it back into an abiotic form of carbon within carbon dioxide in the air.